This was the scene around 4. Our Lambo cam captured some lightning as it lit up the dark sky when some wet weather rumbled through. The rain fell around Wrightstown this morning. This video was shot around 5.30. As you can see, the brown grass is quickly soaking up the water, or at least trying to. Pete's on Stormwatch and has more on a wet Monday. Yeah, we're actually on Stormwatch right now, Rachel, not because of the storms that rumbled through earlier this morning. Much needed rain. We'd have some gusty winds, some lightning, obviously, heavy rain. But now some more storms will be redeveloping over the next few hours and moving in late this afternoon and this evening. You can still see some storms. Let's go to the south. This was the area that was hit with the last of the showers and thunderstorms just about two hours ago. Southern Fond du Lac and Sheboygan County, and some possibility of some hail drop there, too. But now we are still getting some showers and thunderstorms in Door County. And you can see just now popping up to the east of Green Bay into Kewanee County, some uh, showers and thunderstorms. Sturgeon Bay, Jackson Port as well. Let's put uh, the lightning tracker on here, and you can see that there are some some lightning, uh, there is some lightning out there as well. So this was all part of a storm that actually started way to the west out in the Dakotas and Minnesota yesterday and touched off some severe weather. Wind damage, we had some hail. We also had a couple of tornadoes reported, one around uh, Wheaton, Minnesota yesterday about uh, 630 and then a little bit earlier in South Dakota. So this was all part of that system that pushed through. We didn't get the strong storms or the severe storms this morning, but we could have some more later on this afternoon that could be st st uh, st strong, I should say, or st severe. The stormy morning and late afternoon, that's what to expect. Very hot in between these two systems, high near 91. And from these thunderstorms, heavy rain this morning and lightning, we had that already. Now damaging wind and large hail, the main threats from the afternoon and evening storms that will develop after 4 up until about midnight tonight. So that's what we can expect for the rest of the day. And as I